Safavid coins in a way continue a tradition that has been there for centuries. They are important both from an economic point of view, from a monetary point of view, they were used for trading, and of course their inscriptions um, give messages um, to those who handle them, to the public, and the rulers use the inscriptions to um, talk about their religious affiliations. Um, then gradually the language um, changes from Arabic to Persian. And all this information comes through um, on these tiny little pieces that may look very boring actually to the ordinary person. Uh, this is a gold coin of Shah Abbas. It's very small as you see, but it hides an awful lot of information on both sides. Now normally in Islamic coins you have in the center La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger, his prophet. But here the bit about the prophet is actually around the center. It says La ilaha illallah around the central part, but bang in the middle, in the center, it has the name of Imam Ali, the son-in-law of the Prophet, and the successor to the Prophet seen by the Shiite Muslims. So it's quite a message, quite an important message that is given here. Back of the coin, you have information about the ruler who's minted the coin, and it says in Persian, Shah Velayat, the ruler of the kingdom of Ali, Imam Ali. And here again, Shah Abbas is actually emphasizing his allegiance to Imam Ali, the first Shiite Imam the son-in-law of the Prophet. Now this is a, an example of uh, the most exquisite Persian Nastaliq uh, calligraphy on a coin. The date is 1121 Hijra, which corresponds to 1709, and the front always shows the proclamation of faith. So that's how you know where, which is the front, which is the back, and again Beautiful Persian nastaliq, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Ali Valiullah. So there is no God but Allah. Uh, Muhammad is his messenger and Ali is his friend. So beautifully decorated also with um, flowers and uh, dots. The back gives the name of uh, the ruler, the Safavid ruler Hussein. And here, like all the Safavid titles that the kings use, uh, the ruler calls himself Bandiyya Shah Velayat, uh, the servant or the slave of the kingdom of Ali. And right at the end, at the bottom of the coin, uh, written beautifully, Zarbe Isfahan, minted at Isfahan in 1121, Hijra, which corresponds to 1709. There is a clear message that sort of the, the Persian aspect, the Iranian aspect of the Safavid dynasty and the Safavid um, house uh, plays an important role and Persian is a very important part of the national identity of the Safavids.